basic symptoms. The laser rider uh, here in the Kamiya Mojinja, the oldest Shinto shrine in Kyoto City. So, we have known the exact period, exact time, uh, what, what year the started, the beginning of the Kamiya Mojinja. The laser rider, before the importing the uh, character, uh, no script. Uh, ancient times, of course, the mouse to mouse, the transfer, the tradition or history. Uh, from ancestor or generation to generation, something like that. That's why uh, we did not know exactly the, what time, the, what what year we started coming to Mojinja. But uh, 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 mythology or local history or certainly the uh, ceremonial altar or ruin uh, recognized is certainly started the original phase our original ritual in this location. So the very good example there, as, as I told you, the Shinto is the uh, indigenous faith the, from the beginning of Japan, even today still continue the Shinto. So that's why the beginning of Japan, the original ritual, original faith is, uh, is uh, uh, through the Kamigamo Jinja. Uh, you probably you will understand the clear about the indigenous faith until now. So, the, please look at the in front of you. The little side, you recognize the small mountain there. That is the original the location of the Kamigamo Jinja. So, according to the mythology, uh, would you please put, put a little bit slide here? Perfect. So according to the mythology or local history, the Kamigamo Jinja's divine uh, descended from heaven to the peak of mountain. Uh, that Kamigamo Jinja, the universal deity's power enshrined here. The Japanese we call the Wake Ikazuchi no Kami. Kami means divine or deity, as I told you. So Wake Ikazuchi means control all natural forces, increase the weather condition. Ikazuchi directly translated into English the thunder or lightning. So the control of the natural forces power, the, like that the universal power, enshrined as a de deity, as a kami, the here the coming of the So the, according to the mythology, descended the peak of mountain the, from heaven to the ground, the peak of mountain. So that's why even today still remains a stone altar on the peak of mountain. There is a beginning of coming a A couple of thousand years ago, uh, we started the original ceremony on the peak of Mount. So even today, uh, same as three tatami mat size uh, stone altar still remain there. And then we will find ceramics from soil, uh, from the ground. So that's why the time we perform ancient style ceremony on that location. There is a beginning. So, uh, for the long period, uh, in the forest or natural uh, atmosphere, uh, we performed the original ceremony. But uh, after the civilization, uh, we build up like that wooden structure and on the front field. The reason why the way we perform the ceremony, each time we climb up the mountain, it's uh, too, too difficult. So that's why we invited the divine spirit, the flat field. And then even today, we still continue the uh, Shinto ritual or ceremony in this location. So therefore, I'd like to invite you deep inside. Could you please proceed on that way, the exact formal pathway into the reach the main So, divine message as always transferred even today, and then uh, we performed like that ceremony. So, that is not amusement, this is an important ceremony, it's going to offer it to the divine spirit. Offering the meanings of their uh, horseback riding, especially horseback riding, actually they needed a high skill. So, that high skill that accumulated on that day, on the ceremonial day, and then devoted to the divine. So that is very important offering to the divine spirit. So that's why I always maintain like that beautiful here in this location. So please come in front. Uh, 
wrong phrase in you already. The top wheel in Kyoto. The reason why the old 70s Kyoto's uh, World Heritage Site is called like that phrase uh, written in Japanese and English book. So, uh, mostly same words. So please check that. Uh, that but uh, this field, uh, this map, the completely same as the KM field. So, so when we pass in the this three now you are devoting the KM field. Completely same. That's why that even today the Sunday Kamoji Jail recognizes as the world held. Planet, something like that, the uh, guidebook, you want to check that, that uh, pick up the Tamigamo Jinja's page, uh, probably uh, you saw like that picture, uh, this is the uh, symbol of the, uh, and also the landmark of the Tamigamo Jinja. As I told you, the originally the divine spirit descended the peak of mountain, that is the beginning of Tamigamo Jinja, but after that uh, we invocated divine spirit temporarily so, uh, we build up like that sand cone. In the ancient times, according to the history book, uh, standing evergreen tree. And they invocated to divide the spirit, the peak of mountain to here, they performed the ceremony. So, that is the original style of the Shinto's altar. Temporary, temporary they installed like that altar. But uh, after the civilization, our ancestors created to build up like that little structure. So therefore, a little by a little, we get to leave the primary there. Now there is here, five meters, the standing of the piece of coal. So, uh, pine is that one of the symbol of the uh, pine tree, the one of the symbol of the evergreen tree. So, evergreen tree, or evergreen is very important, deeply connected to Japanese culture. For example, in Japanese poem that we, we call the Waka, uh, in search about uh, describing about uh, evergreens. Uh, so, uh, Shinto shrine uh, people offered evergreen branch, Japanese we say Tamagushi, to the Divine Spirit, one of the very important offerings. So, evergreen is the never changed, symbolize of meaning, never changed. As you know, the, especially Kyoto is the very cold winter season. Uh, even if winter season uh, never change the color, that is very important. So therefore, uh, our side, people side, the sincere heart will never change into the future. So therefore, we presented evergreen branch, the tamagushi, offering to the divine spirit. On the other hand, the temporary altar installed evergreen. It's kind of the uh, divine spirit. Uh, divine power will never change, even if the cold or difficult situation, the winter season. So therefore, we installed like that evergreen uh, symbol, this location. So like that idea uh, fulfills the Japanese custom or Japanese habit. So therefore, New Year's Day, for example, January 1st, you will watch the bamboo standing or pine tree standing in front of each house or each gate. Uh, it's kind of the New Year's declaration. Uh, that meaning of the same meaning of the uh, like that uh, pine needle. So therefore, uh, when, when you're understanding Japanese culture, it's evergreen is kind of the, one of the key words uh, of the Japanese culture. So please come to the uh, excuse me, J just one question. Uh, I know uh, the sand cone is symbolizing the sacred mountain in Koyama, but why uh, there are two, two sand cones, ah, not, yes. not just one? Ah, yes. uh, asking a very good question there. Uh, that idea, the concept from yin and yang. So yin and yang concept is uh, still exists in the Korea and the Chinese tradition. Uh, yin and yang, the uh, surface meaning of the you know, uh, all material that exists in two material. The two material combined that it's gonna become the perfect one. So therefore, uh, here the coming of a shrine the from ancient times followed Yi and the Yang concept. Mm. The, as always the pair the corn is told. On the other hand, 
you now you are passing the collegiate, the collegiate is the, the rope, the uh, rice straw rope. Uh, you stole them, the old Shinto shrine. Now, the base, uh, most of Shinto shrine, it's got one rope. However, coming up a shrine, only coming up a shrine, we, we have a few strings of rope, and then combine one. That is the meaning of the concept from Niyadi. So, Niyadi and concept of the foundation time. Uh, you know, the uh, leave the mouth and wash the hands by the fresh water. Uh, pure water. It's kind of one of the purification means. So, as I told you, the Shinto is very important to the purity. So that's why the, before the visiting the deep inside, uh, as always, we will use uh, like that. Uh, there's a little different meaning to the holy water and the Christian tradition, but uh, very important, pure water, the purified, the pure station. Uh, the drying the same Japan, uh, you will experience like that, the pure water. The, I'd like to introduce you a formal etiquette. So, uh, when you're watching the TV program, a small wrestling, uh, small wrestler directly the chest, the mouth, uh, the ladle, and that is uh, the bate habit. Mm. The reason why the each ladle is a public duty. So therefore, uh, I'd like to inform you for more etiquette uh, using the ladle. So scoop the water completely, and then first left hand, right hand, Release the mouth. And then once the left hand, the rest of the water release the blood off. And then return to the original position. And finally wipe the, the uh, hands by the handkerchief. That is the form of it. The reason why the Azari told you is going to have to use it, so therefore, for the next person, uh, pre-feeling. Uh, completely purified with this lava. So I like that form of it. So, uh, it's kind of kind of experience. Would you please try that form of it? Please join that. In the daily life, uh, we think about it like that, but uh, spiritually, the formation has just to be buried. The water is uh, really the very important, most important uh, branch shrine. The reason why this branch shrine enshrines the mother's deity of the Kamigamo Jinja, the same as Shimogamo Jinja's deity. So, according to the mythology, mother's deity born the baby, and then the baby became the divine. And then divine, uh, uh, returned to the heaven, and then finally the, uh, descended to the mountain. So, like that, mythology exists. So therefore, as always, respect of Mother Deity, we greet the, uh, that branch shrine before the proceeding main shrine, main Honden Sanctuary. So, like that mythology, the spread of the Japanese society in ancient times. So therefore, uh, Japanese famous person, a uh, couple of person visited uh, here, the famous person. Uh, who is uh, the uh, Japanese first longest nobles, the author, uh, whose name is Murasaki Shikibu, the written the Tale of Genji. Uh, she visited here and then she prayed 
uh, her good magic for the death divine spirit. Mm -hmm. So therefore, that the uh, Emma Prate, the written uh, Murasaki Shiki mm -hmm. painting, and then even today, 21st century, uh, they may wish it uh, to the death deity. And then, some, sometimes, someone does the like the uh -huh. secret secret. Usually, people <laughs> use it like that, uh, which uh, they wish it, but the sometimes the uh, hiding or secret. Uh, uh, the only uh, offer the devote, the deity, is uh, like that wish it. And then, uh, after the one year, the priest will uh, throw it into the fire, the ceremon ceremonial the performance. And then uh, the smoke the reach to the mm -hmm. heaven. So last week the uh, someone question here. The Japanese we say yuzu. Mm -hmm. So very tasty and then the stamps, mm -hmm. the burning burning stamps is the kind of a hollyhocks, the emblem of the Kiani Kami Japanese we say aoi. So special mm -hmm. very special sweets. Is Hope the, you enjoy. Is the plant on the roof meant to be there? There's a plant. Plant, yes. Oh, okay. Maloof, yes. <laughs> 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 golden, golden colors. So, enjoy. Please, please. Okay, so, thank please, you. Please.